Hello, Green Bay Country Club. It's the off season. We're working on our game, getting better, and I have a great way for you to groove a great swing for this upcoming golf season. Most of us have some masking tape or duct tape at home. By putting some tape on the floor, you can come up with a great way to groove a good swing for the upcoming season. What I've done here, I've created two lines, one behind the ball, one in front of the ball on a mat, and then I created a line inside those lines indicating where I want my swing to come into the ball on the downswing and where I want it to come through on the follow through or the forward swing. I also put two lines of tape down where I'm going to put my club head and the ball here to indicate that when I strike the mat, I want to strike the mat on that line or slightly to the left or in front of that line. Here's how we're going to use some tape to help us groove our swing. So I'm going to go ahead and take my setup. I'm going to put my club head down right in between these two pieces of tape. Then I'm going to take my stance. I'm going to swing the club back and I want to make sure that when I go back, my club head stays on the first tape line, which is in line with the target or straight back from the wall. Then I'm going to go up to the top of my backswing and then I'm going to come down on the inside of that tape. Very important, all really good golf swings go from away to in close. So you're going straight out and then the club is coming in closer to you on the way down. I'm gonna strike the mat and then I'm gonna follow through more inside. Again, keeping everything close to my body. I don't wanna get it too far outside and lose my posture. So I get set up. I go straight back on the first tape line, which is in line with my target. From there, I extend up, complete my backswing. There's a lot of different ways to take it back. But when I come down, I want to keep my arms close, and I want to keep that club head tracking inside the target line, or on this tape line right here, as I'm coming into the ball. Now, one of the common things that I see people do when they make this swing, which goes, extends out or straight, and then comes closer, a lot of people will keep their weight back and they tend to hit back here. That's why we have this tape line right here, because I want to go straight back, keep everything close, but then I want to move my weight forward, so when I hit this mat, or I hit the ground, I want the club to bottom out here, right in line with these two pieces of tape, or even a little in front of them. That's a good way to make crisp contact. If you're a player who struggles hitting a little behind the ball, or you hit a little thin up on the ball, it's a great way to help your contact, especially with irons. Uh, if you struggle with fairway woods, it's a great tip for your fairway woods. So I'm gonna run through it. I get set up, I take it straight back, I go up to the top, I come down, keeping everything close, in tight to my body, I let my weight shift forward, and I just bump that mat in front of the line, and I let my club head come back around slightly inside the target line tape here. It might seem like a silly drill, but practicing this in your basement can really help you hit great shots this upcoming golf season. I hope this helps your game.